Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. It's really hot around here. It's been hot for a whole week, up in the mid 30s Celsius, of course. So we're doing repair jobs in the house. And today we're gonna to be doing a temporary broken tile fix. And the reason why it's temporary is because I have two broken tiles here in front of my fireplace and I only have one spare tile left. So eventually I'm gonna rip up these tiles here and I'm gonna put down new tiles. But for now, I'm gonna do a temporary fix because we keep walking over one here that's cracked as well and the tile, the broken part lifts up and sticks to our feet. So then I notice I have a broken tile here on this side. It's really bad, so I'm gonna replace this one and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the one behind me. So this here is the tile I'm talking about. I think you can see the cracks here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this out. You see the pieces? It's in many pieces. It's been like this for a little while. So we lifted out all the pieces and we're gonna clean up this mortar here. We're gonna chisel this mortar off and we're gonna vacuum around here and clean this up really good. So I just have a scraper here. I'm gonna try the scraper before. If it doesn't work, I'll go get myself a, a, a chisel or a punch of some kind. But it seems to be working. This stuff isn't on there very, very good. And I'm not hitting too hard because I don't want to make a big mess. So I'll finish chiseling up all this and I'll bring you right back. All right, so we ran into an unexpected problem. The next tile beside it was loose. So I just lifted it up in one piece. Now I'm not gonna scrape the mortar off the flooring for that one because some of the mortar is stuck to the back of the tile. I'm afraid if I start scraping at this, it may come off or I mean, it may break the tile. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna use my secret weapon on how to put this back in place. And then we're gonna put the other one back in place. And like I said, it's just a temporary fix until I do this job properly. Because you don't want loose tiles and people slipping on them and them lifting and getting cut or falling or something like that. So this is why it's important to fix it now in case you can't do the whole job properly right away. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wet rag. I have an old sock here. And we're just gonna try and pick up any loose dust. Because the next step where I show you where I stick the tiles back down, you need a clean surface. You can see the dust that coming off of that. And we'll do the back side of this tile as well where the mortar is. Okay, we'll let that dry just a little bit and our surface is basically ready. So here's my secret weapon. It's PL adhesive and this stuff is amazing. It is so strong. It's just right for a temporary fix like this. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some to the tiles. And we're gonna stick them down to the floor and get this job done. Okay, first we're gonna start with the one we didn't expect to be lifted. So we're just gonna apply a bit of PL adhesive to this tile here on this corner. And we're just gonna apply it where the mortar isn't because it's already high there, right? You don't need a lot of this because it holds really well. So you may have noticed that my nozzle here is missing on the end of the caulking tube. That's all right, I just didn't want to waste it. I pulled it off and because uh, the nozzle had gone hard. So I pulled it off and we're just gonna squeeze it out this way. And then we'll clean up the caulking gun afterwards. So there we go, we'll just spread this around a little bit because we don't want it to sit too high and built up. Make sure you clean this stuff up really quick because it is super strong and it dries fast. It sticks to everything. So we're gonna flip this around because this is the way it came up. And we're just gonna lay this tile in place. Because we want to, we're gonna push down on it really hard because we want it level with the other tiles. We don't want a corner sticking up or anything. Catch our feet on it and pull it up or stub a toe. So that one's in place. So we're gonna let that set. 
Now we're gonna put some adhesive on this one and get it ready for set. So we're just gonna put this one here, probably in the four corners. Now we're going to put a fair amount on this one because we have to build it up because remember we scraped the mortar off. Okay, now we're going to put it in place. You can see it's built up there about a half an inch. That's all right. So we're just going to put this in place like this. And space it properly. Feels good and level. Okay, we're not gonna push down any more on this because yeah, it's, it's pretty much flush with the other tiles. So we're just gonna leave it. Now, as far as grout goes, we're not going to bother with this because this, like I said, is a temporary job. And we'll tear all this up, put new tiles down, and then we'll regrout on the next job. Okay, while we're here, Gonna get the real culprit that was sticking to everybody's feet because it's here on the it's in the pathway here where everybody walks. And we're going to just glue this one down. This one isn't lifting, this isn't lifting. So we're just gonna glue this piece in place. So on this piece here, we're just gonna apply a small amount here. Hardly any at all. Just like that. We're going to put it in place. And there we go. So like I said, this is just a temporary fix. It's a good fix for a temporary fix because that PL adhesive will bond onto there so strong, it won't let go. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, you can leave it like this for a very long time. So we're just going to let this set, let it dry. And probably tomorrow morning, it'll be strong. It'll be good as new. So I hope this temporary floor tile fix helps you out if you have the same problem. If it does, give it a try. You'll be glad you did. And don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.